my goodness. So I uh, I was doing preparation for today's show, probably the first time I've actually done some proper preparation. And uh, because of that, I was a bit late and I got a bit blase about it. And then um, it said, please log in to Ustream. And I wasn't sure what my password was. I was starting to panic in the world of TV. I think I was about a minute late, a minute's worth of black that would have been or something. And it, it's, it's a bit disappointing. I'm very disappointed in myself. So basically, I was going to try and start off by recording the ringing phone to use in the in the piece. Now, I've got my old cassette recorder here. Part of the problem was I found a few cassettes that look blank, and they're not. But one of them actually had, the one that I was going to put in, had the Rocky Horror Picture Show in it, uh, on it, which is a great, great album. And I, I can't pass with this stuff. I can't delete, uh, record over that stuff. I'll just put it the right way around. Some, yeah, so you can see some light. Okay. See if there's anything on there. Morning. So if you want to adjust your brightness control, please do so now. What's this? Would you like to stand up? We're going to pray together. Oh my goodness! That must be an old church thing. Right. I'll record over that. So what you can do? Where is it? I like that. It's faded. It's all faded, you see. Right, hit record. So that's recording now. There's a, there's a tiny little microphone there. So I'll just do the first part of this and we'll get down to the loft because I'm realising I've been misrepresenting the show. And let's put it up here. That's a bit more light. So those are all drumsticks I've got. I'm going to keep those, obviously. Keeping the drums. Right. One new message. Hang on. Just um, switch the camera around so you can see what's happening. When you need help. Okay, right. So, what I'm going to do is. Haven't used this phone to change things for a while. Okay, personal. Maybe? No. Phone? Yes. Uh, oh no. Date and time, language, voice commands. No. Calling. No. No. Oh. Settings in. Uh, uh, uh. Phone set up. Whoops, wrong one. Personalization. That sounds good. Oh no, that's giving it a name. Oh, here we go. Ringing tone. Right, so I want to go for a traditional. Uh, oh, I think I've deleted all the traditional ones. Well, that's gone really badly. But I, I, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll I'll do the sound with my lips, and then I'll, I'll try and sort out proper phone sound. So that's recording. So I just go. Right, let's just stop that. Okay, rewind it a bit. Opportunity will come, and then it will. So one. Surprise. Also, there'll be an opportunity. Why isn't that working? Let's try a bit more, mate. It's not working. I think it's short. I don't think it's rewinding, folks. With God. Anyway, enough of that. So, the loft. I thought I was going to be really clever then. I was, uh, I think that might have been, obviously, the duct tape didn't want to be recorded over. It's something very important. That's really scary finding that. It's live on air as well. 
I must think I have a whole collection of sermons on tape. So here is this is like the picture from the uh, I took for the the channel getting lost in my own museum. This is the very loft ladder. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to. Oh, that just goes to show, doesn't it? That little bit of preparation I did obviously wasn't enough. But this is the other bit I did. Are you ready? Because we're going to need some proper lighting up there. I'm going to stay up there for a short amount of time. Okay. So it's going up. See the wire's not trapped, no. Okay. Now I'll stick, I'll stick the other light on. So this is also an experiment to see how long the uh, batteries last. Whoops! On the... Uh, on the mic hood. So yeah. So whoa. So you've seen a lot of stuff downstairs. Not a lot of people have been up in the loft. Um, so I'm just going to hang this up somewhere. <laughs> or maybe I'll just rest it on the floor. Uh, these lights are very, very. Do you like my parrots? These lights. Actually, that could probably go where the parrots are. Let's see parrots. Whoa. So maybe we should start in this corner. <sighs> Night Rider lampshade. So what is in this? So this is a classic American classic car mag. Now I want to keep some of my magazines. So if I just find a box that hasn't got anything in it, or make a box that hasn't got anything in it, I mean, there's not much in that box, is there? Um, although, that box would be a bit bigger. Now, I know there's loads of magazines I want to keep. It's just a bit reckless. Okay. Now, these American car mags, I don't necessarily want to keep, but, I mean, they're quite... You know, there's something someone might be interested in. So, there's, like, a thing that could be of future value. ST format. That's uh, virtual reality comes to your ST. Play the best. The games here are 50 quid crown. The more we see now, that's something I'd want to keep for myself as a sort of. Even got the disc on the front. I used to like the Atari ST. Now what's this? That's interesting. Okay, so we've got a. That's quite a new keyboard. It's actually an Apple. Apple keyboard, I'll stick that down there for now. That, that could go downstairs with some of the electronic stuff. Now I've got a load of these old cameras from this auction. I think they were like 50p each or something. I've started to go to these auctions with my friend Justin. And, uh, ah, interesting. So we've got uh, two... What's that? That's my... That's the paper I did for my college when I was doing my HND. Uh, VT editing, a cut above the rest second year dissertation. So that's all about how video editing is, a, is such an amazing thing, which I guess le that, that sort of... Uh, that's good, isn't it? There's some other notes there from when I was attending the BBC courses, when I was at Forces TV. Not really worth keeping those. So I'll keep them. Right. I mean, that, to be honest, I think that a lot of these are destined for the recycling. I'll just, I'll just put that over there for now. Right, so drumsticks want to go down. These want to go down, because I think I'm going to decide what to do with these. Oh, these are like loads of notes that... Um, they kind of had the BBC Wood Norton. What's the TV stuff? And I think possibly I shouldn't have had as many as those. But I think the guys there were quite free and open about us helping ourselves. Now the waves of depression are hitting me already because just looking at all this stuff, I just don't want to have to deal with it at all. This is interesting, this stuff here. I know that. 
because this, some of this is stuff I made back in the day. I used to love pottery. And, um, some of the things I couldn't make that one. I made this one. I always lost an antenna. I don't think the um, the colouring came out very well on that guy. That's pretty awful, isn't it? This also probably needs fixing. <laughs> oh dear! You see, these are these are terrible. I didn't say I was any good at pottery. I just said I liked it. These are all from the heart. Oh my god. Oh my god, they truly are awful. In fact, I think I remember uh, Mum, bless her soul, she, uh, God rest her soul, whatever, saying that I should just throw these away and I was all protective about them. And I was like, no! And do I, do I know anyone that looks like that who I should give that to? Hmm. That, has he got oh yeah it has maybe I should stick that up on the wall downstairs but yeah so that's the sort of thing I really need to get my head around yeah okay so there's there's Prince what's this one oh these are gig these are gig uh Thing. So I think that's from his new tour that I went to, which was wasn't great, to be honest. I'll put that with these as we go downstairs. Fleetwood Mac behind the mask wasn't great. Um, what's his name? Minzy Buckingham wasn't with them on that tour. There he is, Huey Lewis and the News, Small World Tour. That was probably my favourite gig for a long time. Inside of that. Oh my god, they're a bit damaged. Original animation cells from Count Ducula. Now, we went to the animation studios, Cosgrove Hall, at the uni, and um, and they were flogging these off for not very much. Look at that. It's, it just shows you I should really take better care of this stuff. So I'll, I'll put that back carefully in the... In the gig thing, now these gig things, I don't know if they're worth money, but the thing is I should really um, look after them, like, and also look on eBay to see how much they go for, but I know I looked at the Live Aid ones, because I've got a Live Aid one somewhere, I wasn't really going for that much. This is a book that, uh, I think it was just in the music shop, where they were selling the... Uh, the album for Dubstar, which were, great, well, were a great band. Um, it had all this really weird artwork, and I just, just on the strength of that, I kept it, and I still like it. Ah, interesting, that's another Star Wars thing. So, that can go with all the Star Wars stuff, which I've now moved into the empty cupboard in the bedroom. All the Star Wars stuff is going in there. So, but the danger is, if I put all these in that bag, box and take it down it won't it won't go there at all so I'll put it in that pile with the keyboard which will definitely go down X planes a history of the world's most secret planes and missions well that's kind of like yeah, yeah interesting what's this Oh, this is the instructions for my weight weight set. Oh, that's good. Um, well, that's worth it. I've still got the weights downstairs, and I did get reasonably fit when I was into that before. Alien War. Star Trek vs. X-Files. What's the point of that? What is the point of that? I don't know, you see, if I found a really big X-Files fan and a Star Trek fan, here's a vintage cinema store bag. 
Now, I kind of... I still know one of the guys reasonably. I don't know the other guy. Why would I keep that? Well, I used to like the store, and I used to think the artwork on the bags were awesome. Species poster. Very saucy film. Uh, now that should really go. It's nicely folded, but I've got a whole box full of posters here. I'll just stick that carefully in there. A lot of those went were used in the tapescape event, and I, I took them there just saying, yeah, just have them, do what you like with them, I don't want them anymore. Just seeing them up on the wall the whole time made me want to bring them back. Here's some more boxes. All the way from Japan. The Samba Amigo box for the, uh, for the nunchucks. Do you see how I don't get anywhere up here? So frustrating. Um, to, oh look, I wonder if I could make that ring. I don't know. I haven't thought of that. There might be a way to make these things ring. Now that's something I found before. This should go alongside the uh, the animation cell from Count Ducula. Um This is something from the old cinema store. Keep this for me. Uh, shouldn't really use my teeth on that. Hang on, guys. It's pretty much jammed in here. Oh, I can just pull a bit of paper out. John, my best, Christopher Lee. That's official signature. It's the second signature I had. The first one was Ray Davis from the Kinks. And then there's this one. The trouble is... When I say sign it to John, everyone signs it to John spelt J-O-H-N. So, so if there's any J-O-H-N Johns out there who are interested in that, I'll, let you, I'll sell it to you after he's popped his clogs. Because for the moment, I think it hasn't real, realised its true value. And, um, and of course if this is a war zone, I might have said this before, but you may not have heard it before. If this was a war zone, um, it, it would be worth nothing. All this stuff would be worth nothing. If this, if there were like American troops marching up and down, taking pot shots at anyone they thought uh, were kind of going to do anything naughty, it'd be worth nothing at all. Absolutely nothing. Um, this looks like a load of. There's a ghetto blaster that I know for a fact. The CD player doesn't work. Although with CD players, quite often, it's just the lens. But any of these things with moving parts, quite often, they're the things that aren't going to last for ages. Now that's good. Now I've been looking for some of the, anything I find with a box like this, and I know it's something I want to keep, that's instantly a keeper. So, I will box up one of the Commodore 64s with all the stuff that should be in that box. Hopefully I'll find it. It's an amusing poster. I think this maybe should go up downstairs. A little bit subversive. Um, where's my favourite one? Beer goggles, they turn bow into wow. So I use, uh, so I use it, oh my goodness, this is heavy. Oh look, this is this is loads of old mags. There's old Christmas cards, which I couldn't find, but I didn't give out any Christmas cards. Sunday Times. Why would I keep that? I think that might. They must have some interesting article in there, but to be honest, I might have to check that. I don't know. Bizarre. It's the sort of magazines I used to read. Maxime. These are all vintage, vintage uh, mags. Maxime. I don't think that's even out anymore. 
I think these do look as if they could be ripe for the uh, for recycling. I mean, I was thinking of like getting an old magazine rack and uh, keeping that. Now that's from February 1999. Sorry for the reflections, guys. Um, and there we are. Computer four nine four hundred ninety nine pounds. These computers, even though that's fourteen years ago, computers are still around that price for that sort of thing. So that's good, isn't it? Uh, I think, however, I think this box can more or less all be recycled, which is exciting. So you see, I'm making real headway here. We got twenty one minutes in. The battery is still still working uh, however I am making more mess and what you can't do is leave stuff here because that's where the ladder slides up to slides up to um, so the Commodore 64 box over here I can already see it <sighs> oh there's a rock band box and the drums have given in on that rubbish rubbish construction oh ah, full okay Sinclair Spectrum. I never got the original one. Um, I've got that at car route now. There's a double inflatable bed. Now that could be useful if people crash over, actually. Now I don't mind people crashing over if they need to. If they need to stay and get wasted. There's one of the Empires with the Matrix inside it, from Matrix Reloaded. And I think I bought all four covers of that. Uh, I, I'm, I was a huge, well I still am a huge Matrix fan, and don't say, eh, but the third, second and the third film are rubbish, because they're not, and if you don't get it, if you don't get the whole thing as a trilogy, bearing in mind they didn't know they'd make the other one, so the first one was a complete film in itself, but it was awesome. Oh, this is where life gets so sad. I bought that just because it was like three quid or something. Fiber octave pink Christmas tree. Now, I think I tried to give that to my nieces and they were like, no. Oh, I can go to something else. You see how I've moved to a completely different part of the loft and I'm still discovering stuff. Excuse me, draft excluder. Now, they don't seem to be... They don't seem to be made anymore, for some reason. I think he can probably, we do need a draft excluder. What I'm wearing at the moment is, these are my newest tick shoes, um, which I got at the outlet store at the Chatham Dockside. These are lovely green corduroy trousers, which um, I thought would, were too big for me. I thought because of the size, but I think I might have put on a little bit, plus I think they were quite tight anyway, so they fit the top is the the white jumper which may have been seen in um, in, the, in some other videos from the past in particular I think the trip to Brighton I was wearing this and here you see what I did there this is get a life uh, t-shirt which I think my sister got me for Christmas a few Christmases ago and uh, that's obviously says a lot about how she sees my gaming, but yeah, I, I do do a lot less gaming. I, I did fall off the wagon yesterday the day before and started playing Plants vs Zombies again, which isn't good. Oh, where is it? Where's it going? There's, there's one of these as seen on TV things, I think. The chopper, slicer, dicer thing. Never been used. Never been used. Actually, I know, I think I, I got to use someone else's, and there's a thing for making chips. You can just slice potatoes really thin, or you could do other vegetables to make chips. So this, it's not, this is supposed to be a motherboard. Oh, floppy disks. And dad, we used to go, uh, yeah, my friends were kind of like a bit snobby when it came to computers. And, um... We, we, they, they were awful 
Uh, so I don't know where they came from, but it used to be, if anyone said that they liked Amstrad computers, we'd all go, Amstrad? Very unpolitically correct. Coins. Uncirculated coin collection. Now these are another things that people buy all the time thinking they might be worth something, they're not. They might be worth opening and spending the money, not in good condition. That's an inflatable Nintendo thing. I think I picked those up in, when I was in Japan. It's Rossley Bobble Toy from Ghoulies. We were all given these at Nickelodeon. And that was on. So, yeah. That was nice. That was that was like the show that uh, Nickelodeon, they really pulled out the stops for that one. I don't think there's going to be anything embarrassing in here, guys, because there isn't, okay? And I don't count bizarre magazines.